to my list, huh? You get what you get when you let your chickens out. all day in my garden. You go for it. And you're not interested in the celery either. Alright. Celery is safe. Onions are safe. They don't prefer to eat onions at all. They seem to be bypassing the peas. Going for the kale. <laughs> They're so cute how they just walk through the garden. I really don't think they'll do too much damage. Ignores the artichoke, ignored the peas. Who would have thought they would have ate? At least the leaves of the peas. More beet leaves. Under the pomegranate. a little bit at the pomegranate tree. That's funny. Not much though. I walked away from it. Back to the lettuce. Come here. Look at this. I'm going to take this out and you can have all the roly polies down underneath it. Go see. Oh, usually you would like that. No? There you go. There you go. Chamomile found them. He's gonna go eat all those roly polies I just uncovered from picking the head of lettuce. There, Sinia found them too. You see? I thought you'd like that. Roly poly city. So this could potentially be beneficial letting them out and take care of some of my roly poly population. Here's an area where my birds really can't hurt anything at all. And so it's not like they spend the whole day in the vegetable garden eating up the place. Hi hey birdies. Here's, you're doing a good job being soft. Good, good dog. She has a feeling for the chickens being special and does not often bark at them or anything like that. This isn't a vegetable patch at all, just um, some flowers and uh, a couple trees. And then there's other times, I didn't get a video of it today, but there are times where the chickens just sit in the, in the dirt and do a little dust bath. Hey girl. Hi, did you come say hello to me? Hey sweetie. Well, 
I've put the chickens away for the night and I'm surveying the garden and finding that they did not do nearly as much damage as I was worried about. When I first let them out this morning, they really went after the lettuce and got quite a few uh, lettuce heads picked to pieces. Aside from that though, mostly what I'm finding as I go around the yard are these spots, dirt patches where they've scratched away and eaten any bugs that they have found. Some of the plants I was wondering would they go after, they didn't. Well, the melon is, melons are still intact, uh, carrots, onions, I mean the peas. I'll show you some heads of lettuce that they tore apart. Here's a good example of how much they can devour. That whole center has gone, that one as well. Tomatoes are fine, lots of the beets are fine. Some of them have a couple of leaves taken off, but really not that many. This whole lettuce patch is fine. They didn't really get into that. And then you find more of these dirt patches where they just scratched away and ate bugs. I likely won't let them out tomorrow unless I harvest all the rest of the lettuce heads first and take them into the house because I would like some more lettuce before it's gone. But everything else looks good. Let me take you down and show you the corn. There's a scratch spot. And then all the corn is looking fine except for one. Looks like maybe it got stepped on. I've not scratched at or pecked at. And those squashes not pecked at either. So here at end of day, I'm just thinking about what a fine day my chickens have had out in the garden. I'm happy for them. Um, had I not been eating lettuces for a few weeks now, I might not have done that. Might not have let them out to devour my lettuce. But, um, so that's something to think about. What will chickens go after? What won't they go after in your decision to um, allow chickens out into the garden? There are many things they don't go for, onions especially. Um, orchards are very safe uh, if you have mainly an orchard in your, in your garden. I wouldn't be concerned except for the fruit that they can maybe jump up to and peck at from low hanging branches. Aside from that, things look really good out here. So, something to consider. I might, uh, might harvest a bunch of lettuce in the morning and then let them out again. This, um, a time when I wouldn't let them out is if I have tomatoes set. I, the tomato plants, they would, aren't really going after, but if there was a tomato, especially one that's ripening, they would go after that and I kind of want to eat my tomatoes, so. Um, there are different seasons when I let the chickens out, different times of year, in between plantings. I, would, I wouldn't let them out had I just planted seeds or if I had young seedlings, uh, seedlings small plants that I was worried about. Um, in this case, it was a good day to let them out. Um, let them out. Again, uh, for a few days, we'll see. When tomatoes start sitting on, I won't let them out. And then of course we'll let them out in the fall uh, for fall cleanup. Anyway, something to consider for those of us who are living in urban and suburban spaces, can we let our chickens into the garden? And I hope this video helped demonstrate kind of what they go after and um, maybe some aspects of gardening that aren't too big of a deal with chickens and some that really are, you know, if you're certain produce you're looking forward to, you might not want to give it up to chickens. Have a good night. In the meantime, if you do need to keep them locked up, it's nice if they have a little yard of their own. That one there that you see chamomile in, she is, she's behind a fenced in little chicken yard next to, attached to the coop. Good night, chick chicks. You have fun on your day out? <laughs> Good night.